we got in the old van today. It's just filthy. I need to vacuum the inside. And the fans don't work. The fan works for the rear seats. Um, there's heat. You know, I can feel heat radiating out of stuff, but, but actually no fan going on. Um, and I can't remember. I think you can turn these on and run the heat when the car's off. Yeah. So it should be right there. I should be able to just, oh, the fan should be blowing. And it's not. And I heard another guy with a 2009 was telling another dude years ago that he just took his motor out and it wouldn't turn. He cleaned it up and then it would. And he put it back in. And that there's only six bolts holding the glove box on. Then you can get to the whole thing. So we'll give that a shot. And I know from doing the cabin filter, this bottom piece just pops off. So that's where you'd be able to change the cabin filter out now if you had the screws for it. Um, or the bed driver, that is. Come on, buddy. I need two hands, but we should have... Yeah, there's some Torx. One, two, three. There's probably three inside. Yeah. One, two, three. And that whole whole glove box should come out. We should be able to get to the fan. So, let me see what size those are. All right, I already got the bottom three. It's a T, uh, T20. And I don't think this is going to fit very well. I might need to get a little wrench for it. Yep, yep, doop, doop. So, let me find a wrench. I think this should fit better. Yep, so one there, one in the middle, one on the left. Yeah, so lucky me, it's starting to kind of freezing weird snow stuff. This popped out. Camera, the fuck with the program. Yeah, let's see, yeah, there's a light. There's a bunch of stuff that's a pain in my butt. Uh, yeah, because that guy probably didn't have... Uh, any of the audio stuff in here. Like I got a jack for iPods and stuff. I don't know if they had those in 09. There's the auto release. There's a bunch of wires. How many of those are? Oh, yeah, I can just leave them in place. Who cares? Fan, fan. This looks like the little resistor box, little Delphi unit. Yeah, and this goes the fan. Two wires, plus E minus E. And the fan itself. It almost looks like it screws in from the bottom and drops down as one piece. Yeah, so it looks like there's two two bolts on the top, at least two at the bottom. Maybe some in the back. It's gonna be a pain in the dick, isn't it? So let's see. Bolt. Well, That holds it on. Well, they look like small, like eight millimeter, maybe. And I think it does just drop out like that. I guess I do have the manual. I could go look upstairs real quick. All right, so the manual upstairs says it's just the four in the front. They're, I think they're a five and a half millimeter. I'm using some kind of SAE size right now. I'm gonna do that one last because I can reach it the easiest. And it should just pull straight down, it should. Um, Shit. All right, let me get the other two screws out. If it's right, I'll pop some video back. Okay, well, the four screws are out. And it almost feels like there's more. But I've been mistaken in the past. No, it feels like there's shit in the back. Which it looked like there was when I tried to peek in there, but there's no space. Yeah, I think there's three more. I think there's one on each side and that bottom guy right there. So let me get those going. Yeah, that was it. So there's seven screws total. And then this kind of just falls out, which I think there's a clip on the right. There we go, there's a fan. So, so we got, we're clipped on, I think, yeah, reds plus. 
probably same thing here. I bet black is minus. Yeah, it's normal, right? So we'll get set up. We'll touch tips and see if it uh, if it spins or not, or how it spins. Um, it may turn because I already cogged it, right? So like if it was stuck, yeah, it feels kind of weird. So it eh, might work, might not. Try not to touch these together because they're hooked straight up to a car battery. Whoa, she's got some torque to her. Okay, I don't think the fan's an issue. Um, the thing really ripped. Well, if it's not the fan uh, itself, which judging by how quick that moved, I don't think, <laughs> I think it has. It had no problem spinning up. Uh, there's a control box that we may have to change out. And they're only like 35 bucks, but there's probably a way to test for it, right? So that's this guy. Right, pretty sure, because that's where the fan plugs in, and then there's a bunch of control shit. So, uh, yeah, maybe we'll look up if there's a way we can own that out and see if it's bad. Otherwise, we might be able to use the uh, scan tool for it as well. But it's probably a wasted effort pulling that fan out, which is disappointing. Okay, that's still cycling voltage up and down. Um, should be able to just plug in and see it on this end. 14 volts. If that's cycling down from 6, 5, 4, 3, it says 3 volts now. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and it's not. It's 14 the whole time. Is there something I'm missing here? If it has voltage, why wouldn't it spin? Unless it instantly, you know. Maybe it's a frequency modulated thing? I have no idea. Maybe it's not letting any current through? This isn't making any sense to me. Um, hmm. I guess it's possible that that's the voltage it's sending to the box up and down and it's not coming through correctly and when this gets plugged in it's just complete garbage it'd be nice if i could measure voltage while it's plugged in see if it drops to zero because something's shorted well if it's shorted it'd be shorter than the fan the fan wouldn't have spun when we hooked it up hmm i think those boxes were only 35 bucks so i might just go ahead and get one of those and see what happens uh, yeah the, the OEM control board thingy, the resistor pack, is uh, 203 bucks. So if I want a genuine one, I have to pay a lot. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I went ahead and ordered a, a knockoff uh, off of Rock Auto. It's just these two connections. I just unplugged and those two bolts. So I'm going to unbolt it, get it out on the bench, pop it open, look at the insides and see if anything's blown up. Yeah, so super easy. There's just four... Uh, metal tabs that should pop apart. Ooh, hopefully I don't lose them all. <laughs> Just in case this, well, we got another one coming, so it doesn't really matter what we do to this one, because we'll have a spare either way. Oh, did they go up? I bet they pop under here. And then, yeah. <laughs> Silly me, I'm being all violent. So. Yeah. First glance, I don't see anything. It's hoping like a cap was blown, something like that. Mm. Yeah, nothing crazy. I don't know if they have the little tiny onboard fuse or not. None of the fuses to run any of the HVAC stuff are blown. And the motor runs on the bench, so I gotta imagine something's wrong in here. I just may not even be able to see it. It could be as simple as this guy, right? Little transistor, I think. Oh, looks like there's three of them. If any of those did anything bad. And there's any number of things that could go wrong that wouldn't have a visual. So, really the only other thing I could do tonight, and I think I will, just out of curiosity, is, uh, if I break off tabs? Yes, yeah, so I broke off some plastic on this side. It should still hold, though. Because I could pull the fan out clean it anyway. Just make sure, just double double check 
but uh, I don't. I think it's going to be this box that needs to be replaced. I already got one that's going to show up Thursday. Just sucks that I won't really have heat until then. Yeah. So, whoopsie daisy. Shouldn't have broke her. Probably not a bad idea. I'll just put a piece of tape on that and put it back in for now to hold everything together. Yeah, let's uh, let's pop the motor back out. It doesn't take that long. And take a look at its guts. This doesn't seem to have any screws or anything. It's got foam though. So I think we just gotta push these foam legs in and then just kind of wiggle it out. Uh, hopefully it won't tear anything. Yeah, so see it's starting to come out off those foam legs, but it looks like the uh, electrical connection is still attached. Okay, so dumb lock, I had a dental pick that was already kind of like weird hook shaped. And on each side there's a little slot, and you'll hear when I push far enough that it clicks it out. I just did it and I put it back in like an idiot. Okay, so there's a click. And I can kind of move it a little bit, and then on the other side there's a click, and now it pushes it, and the whole thing comes off. So, that's all it is. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of crusties in here. Maybe something's shorting just right, that when I hook it up to a battery it can overpower it, but the little control board can't. Uh, it'll be worth checking it out a little bit. So, it looks like this presses on somehow, and I don't want to risk breaking stuff, taking it off. Um, it would have been nice to pull that off and be able to get to the brush assemblies, but if I poke my finger down in here, see I can... I don't know if you can even see that, it might be too dark. But there's... I can lift the brush up and look at it. And it's not... the brushes aren't centered. So, oh, there, maybe you can see it. But there's plenty of brush left, and when I look through it at the little area it rubs on, I don't see anything crazy, right? It's not like... Nothing's awful. So I'm going to pull those out with my thumb, spray some electrical cleaner in it, you know, spray some stuff down here, just make sure that nothing weird's happening. I'm going to put it up on the vise and test it with tool bolts again and just see what happens. It's going to be fan spin round two, this time with something to hold it so it doesn't go ape. Yeah. Get my tip a little warm there, but definitely doesn't have any problems spinning. So, yeah, there's no issue with the fans. Wasn't this some shit? Look at that, blowing like crazy. <laughs> All I did is so after I sprayed that cleaner, right? I uh, just plugged everything back in and said, "Well, why not try?" Right? So I guess I'm gonna cancel that part. All right, got the glove box back in place. Everything's tied back up. I'll do a double check. Turn the auxiliary on. No fan. But that might be because there's not enough heat. Oh, nope, there it goes. Yeah, so it starts right up. Huh. I'll be damned. All right. So, if it goes out intermittently, then resistor board. Right, or both. Um, I can get the pair for like 150 bucks total ship. So if it acts funky the rest of the winter, turn it on and off and stuff, that'll be the route to take. But it didn't work all day today um, at all. And it was working fine up until it stopped. So I think, uh, I think that'll do.